Okay, let's connect the user teaches a section. And I'm going to use the term instructor, that specific type of user, because it keeps, clarifies it in my mind. So an instructor teaches a section. So I need to make the connecting lines there from the teacher to the user with the multiplicity on the entity line or entity object. Okay, so a user, an instructor teaches a section. And let's go ahead and check with the scenario. <clears throat> and it says that a section has up to one instructor. So the max is one and the minimum would be less than one, which is zero. So this fully defines the zero to one. And the way that works is a section can have how many instructors? So it's the multiplicity on this end. A section can be related to zero or one instructors. So we want that one to be the zero or one version, which is right there. Okay, now what about a teacher can teach how many sections? So if we look at the scenario on this one, it is not specified at all how many sections a teacher can instruct, right? So we have to decide that for ourselves. So let's start with the whether it's one or many as the maximum. Can a teacher, can an instructor teach more than one section? And we know that they can. We know that instructors teach more than one class in a semester, so we know it's one of the many. Would it be possible for an instructor to teach zero sections? This would happen when an instructor is brand new and they've never taught a course before, right? They're not associated with any section. And so would it be possible for a university to hire an instructor before they're assigned to a section? And that does make sense, just that they could be awarded a position as an instructor before they're assigned to a section. So that gives us the option then to include zero on that end of the multiplicity. You know, this is not from the scenario. This is using our understanding of the system. And as you work on these, you if you don't have that knowledge, then you would check with somebody who does so that you're always using an informed decision to make these assumptions and then you'll specify it. So there's our connecting line. This one is fully defined in the scenario, so we won't do that. So we need to add one for the um, section end of that relationship. So this will be our fourth assumption, and it will be an instructor can be related to zero to many sections. Fix spelling. An instructor can be related to zero to many sections. And here we need to write the assumption both for zero and many. An instructor can teach many sections. An instructor can be in the system before they are assigned to any section. Now we want to label that, that multiplicity up here. So number four is talking about a section still has zero or one user, so that end specified, so it's this one. An instructor can teach how many sections, so it's the how many down here. And so that's where the four goes. And now we've added the connection, the relationship between the instructor and the section with the multiplicities and the assumptions needed to fully define it.